This was a really interesting TRE session. Although I started in the usual way and I got movement pretty easily in my legs to begin with, something felt flat about it. I didn't feel like I was able to get any real momentum with my tremors and for the first uh, like 10 minutes or so it was actually quite uneventful and it was full of what felt like false starts. I had to go back and try and tire my legs which is not something I have to do very often. It was interesting in, in, in watching this playback that Although I felt like not much was happening, there's twitching in my index finger, which I was completely unaware of. And it continues throughout the session. Of course, I can't see if the same thing was happening on the right hand side, it's very possible. But it's interesting because even though I felt like not much was happening, it's like there was a spark in my body waiting to have that energy, wanting that energy to come down through to the hands. I've had um, two TRE sessions this last week where it's also been very flat and I chose to actually just leave them very short. Not much happened and sometimes it is like that and it's absolutely okay. I came into today's session with that sort of thinking that I was I was expecting it would just end up the same, that after five or 10 minutes, I might just call it a day and just go, yeah, not this week. For some reason, maybe because I had nowhere to go or nowhere to be, I just relaxed and stayed with it. I, you know, I just lay on the mat for quite a while and I am going to skip over uh, a certain se uh, whole section at the beginning because not much actually happens. Now, I don't know what happened to suddenly bring about the uh, the energy that eventually did come, but it came. And you're going to see that I had so much movement and energy, particularly in the chest area and in the hands. I really felt like my hands and my chest wanted to really move about. And if the floor wasn't there, I think I could have had a really wild dance. Also, to let you know, uh, I've, I'm recording this commentary, the voiceover, the following day, so that I could also give some insight onto how, it, you know, how you can potentially feel after such a powerful session. Sometimes when I have a really powerful session where I have a breakthrough, I can feel quite tired or fatigued in the days afterwards. So I partly expected that to be a potential possibility after this session. But that's not been the case. I did not get tired at all while I was tremoring and neither do I feel tired the next day. I feel, I felt and feel even now I feel quite grounded and present. So that's very interesting as well. I'm not going to do much of a commentary on this video because I think the movements speak for themselves and there's not really that much extra I can add. Um, just to let you know that my partner came home part way through my session so you're going to hear some domestic noises as he moves about and also we have a good giggle about, <laughs> about my, my tremoring. Um, and also I just want to reiterate that the experience of this session was so pleasant. Um, it felt like the energy was coming very much, it was chest centered, like heart centered in that sort of area, middle of my chest, between my breasts. And yeah, I don't, I, it's, it's interesting because it's like being danced and I've used that metaphor before. And you know, the old me never liked letting go or surrendering to any process. And, and yet I felt so held in my own body. I felt so safe and so comfortable. Um, and I wanted to continue the session for far longer than it actually went for. But I chose to end it when I did because I also recognize that when we have such a breakthrough, 
And when we have so much movement, it's important to give ourselves breaks, give our bodies time to integrate so that we don't overwhelm ourselves by doing too much too soon. I actually also really highly recommend anyone else to document their own process, especially if you're um, if you're also exploring the movement uh, of mo opening up movement throughout your body. It's really fascinating to observe uh, what you can't see when you're experiencing it in the moment. You like, wouldn't know it from other hands, though. <laughs> it's, it's like someone's dancing through my body. So I raised my hands in the air here to help encourage movement into them. And by raising them, I also felt like they just had more freedom to move and get involved. By turning my head, I was also trying to loosen my neck and to invite movement into my neck, into my head. But in the end, there was so much energy and movement happening in my chest area. I felt like they were in conflict. And um, so I decided to actually just let the chest and the hands do the thing. And, you know, we can work on the head and the neck another time. Another thing that was interesting with the chest movement was I could feel my chest lifting into the air, but I wasn't doing it. It didn't feel like I was doing it. It felt effortless. It felt light. And at the time I was thinking, oh, this is probably like what an actor feels like when they're playing a role like uh, in an ER film, a movie, a TV show or something. And they've got the defibrillators and they have to pretend they're being resuscitated. But I think if you're an actor, I'm assuming you must have to use some muscular effort to make that happen and 
after a few takes that might actually be quite tiring. And in my case, there was definitely no effort observed on my part. So that's, that was a really interesting experience. It was also interesting to observe that normally I have a lot of uh, tension release from my psoas muscles, so in the pelvic area. What was interesting was that in this session, I didn't really feel so much the tension release there. I'm sure it happened, but I felt like really the release was happening in the upper body more than anything. So yes, the full body is involved, uh, but yeah, so it just interesting to do with, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what you want to do with that information, but there you go.
Yay. <laughs> I just never had this before. Ay, ay. I'd say that the key takeaway from this session for me personally was patience because it was by simply remaining on the mat, relaxed, without expectation, that this opportunity opened up and revealed itself. If I had cut the session short, I would not have experienced this, certainly not today.